वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ए करेक्टर टेबल नाउ व्हाट इज ए करेक्टर टेबल करेक्टर टेबल कंसर्निंग ए पार्टिकुलर ग्रुप गिव्स फॉर ईच इरिडिसिबल रिप्रेजेंटेशन म्यू ऑफ द ग्रुप द करेक्टर काई म्यू एक्स काई म्यू एक्स ऑफ द क्लास टू व्हिच द ग्रुप एलिमेंट एक्स बिलोंग्स सो फ्रॉम द करेक्टर टेबल वी कैन फाइंड the characters corresponding to a particular group element now how to construct such a table to construct this table we need to use some results regarding the characters which we have deduced in our earlier lectures so let us uh, uh, summarize the results the first uh, result is that the number of classes equals the number of irreducible representation this result we have discussed in our earlier lecture and the vector formed by the characters from a given irreducible representation uh, is orthogonal to the vector formed by the characters from a uh, different irreducible representation this particular orthogonality relation um, uh, uh, was discussed in our earlier lecture uh, sum of n mu square is equal to g where n mu is the dimension of the a uh, mute irreducible representation and g is the order of the group this was also discussed and there is there must be uh, identity representation means one dimensional with all characters equal to 1 and this representation is present for every group and sum of uh, chi mu x square whole square is equal to g that is square of the characters if you add them for uh, all the elements that will give us the order of the group small g and chi mu x is the sum of n mu mth roots of unity where m is the order of x this last one we have discussed in just previous lecture so using all the results we can construct a character table so let us uh, construct the character table for c4v group this particular group was discussed in the uh, beginning lectures now uh, the c4 group is the two dimensional symmetries of a square and it has total 8 uh, elements and the identity element i and rotation elements pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 which we denote as r and r prime rotation by pi which we denote as q and there are four mirror reflection mx my and md and md prime so there are total 8 elements now uh, if we look at the uh, results from 1 to 4 Uh, at the start of this section put tight constraints on the possible character sets as the following argument shows so now we will describe that is how these results uh, put tight constraints uh, for the construction of the table so first of all we have to note that the group uh, under discussion is non abelian that is suppose uh, if we take two elements suppose r into mx is not equal to mx into r that is uh, the group is non abelian one so there are uh, fewer than 8 classes so as there are total 8 elements if it was abelian group then there may be 8 classes but as the group is non abelian so there will be fewer than 8 classes and hence fewer than 8 irreducible representation now look at the uh, result 3 uh, that is sum of n mu square is equal to g this is one of the important result uh, obtained so here g is equal to 8 that is right hand side is 8 then uh, it implies Uh, that at least uh, one irreducible representation has dimension 2 or greater because uh, sum of n mu square is equal to 8 so suppose uh, one of the irreducible may have dimension 2 because 2 square is equal to 4 4 is less than 8 that is uh, sum of n mu square is equal to 8 holds if uh, one of the representation has dimension 2 however there can be no irreducible a uh, representation with dimension 3 or greater why because 3 uh, square is equal to 9 which is greater than 8 so there will not be um, uh, any irre irreducible representation with dimension 3 or more uh, nor can there be more than one two dimensional representation for uh, because uh, suppose if there are two uh, two dimensional representation then 2 square plus 2 square is equal to 8 but in every case there must be uh, identity representation that is whose dimension is 1 so then we cannot uh, add the identity representation in this equation because if we add the identity representation then it will be 1 square 
but it is uh, um, uh, greater than 8. So, uh, maximum number of uh, two dimensional representation is 1. So, ultimate conclusion is that that uh, one two dimensional irreducible representation is possible and to and to make the sum uh, in equation 3 correct that is sum of n mu square is equal to 8 if it is to be hold then there should be four one dimensional irreducible representation so as sum of n mu square is equal to 8 so ultimately uh, the sum will be like this that is 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square that is equal to 8. So, uh, 1 2 dimensional representation uh, 2 dimensional representation and 4 1 dimensional irreducible representation that is the only possibility. So, ultimately we can say that there are 5 classes for 1 class it is the 2 dimensional representation and 4 1 dimensional representation are there that is why we can say that there are total 5 classes. But same conclusion can be hold uh, if we uh, check by similarity transformation with every pair of elements, but here um, by the results of the character we can easily deduce or easily say that there are total 5 classes. And these 5 classes are i that is identity element q, r and r prime, m x and m y and m d and m d prime. So, oh, these are the total uh, 5 classes for the C 4 B group. It is straightforward to show that only i and q commute with every element of the group. Uh, so, they are the only elements in classes of their own. Each other class must have at least two members. But as there are three classes to accommodate six elements, there must be exactly two members in each of the class. This uh, uh, does not pair up the remaining six elements, but does say that the five classes have one, one, two, two and two elements. Now, uh, we cannot entirely ignore the group structure because sometimes it happens that the uh, results uh, are independent of the group structure. For example, all non-labial groups of order 8 have the same character table. However, uh, we need to note that in the present case that m i square is equal to i. So, i is x, y, d or d prime that is if we uh, consider the reflection groups it may be m x may be m y m d or d prime in every case m i square is equal to i. So, this is uh, one thing to note the second thing is that r into m i is equal to m i into r prime uh, where i may be x y d or d prime. Another result is that that is uh, if x and y are any pair of elements d of x y is equal to d x into d y. We will use these results for constructing the character table. So, first of all if we uh, look at the result 6 in result 6 uh, it is saying that is uh, chi is the sum of n mu mth roots of unity where m is the order x again again check that is m is the order of x and chi mu should be uh, the sum of n mu mth roots of unity so if you carefully look at the result 6 and here we have already noted that is uh, m i square is equal to i that is order of the element m is 2 so, by checking the order of the element that m i is 2, we can say that is chi of m i that is character corresponding to the m i that will be equal to d m i that is equal to plus minus 1 that is square root of unity as order of the m is 2. So, square root of unity will be the character that is plus minus 1. Since uh, r to the power 4 is equal to i that means uh, character concerning to the r may be 1 i minus 1 and minus i. But uh, here we have already uh, shown that is r into m i is equal to m i into r prime. So, d r into d m i should be d m i into d r prime and d m i which we have already shown are just numbers that is plus minus 1. So, d r is equal to d r prime further d r into d r that is equal to d r into d r prime because d r is equal to d r prime that is equal to d r r prime now r r prime is equal to i d i is equal to 1 so d r into d r is equal to 1 so d r is equal to plus minus 1 is equal to d r prime this is uh, another result so we have so far we have obtained that is uh, chi of m i is equal to plus minus 1 again d of r that is also plus minus 1 and lastly d of q d of q q can be written as r into r so d of r into r is equal to d r into d r is equal to 1 so d q is equal to 1 so, chi uh, is equal to plus minus 1, dr is equal to uh, plus minus 1 and dq is equal to 1. 
So, so far we have obtained total three sets of uh, result and uh, they will be used for construction of the character table. Now, uh, we have to note that the identity irreducible representation A1, uh, all the characters for this particular irreducible representation are all unity. Now, suppose uh, let us construct the character table. So, these are the total 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 classes and we are um, uh, writing uh, total uh, 5 uh, representation because we have already said that 5 representation will be there and we are writing them as A1, A2, B1, B2 and E. Now, one representation will be two dimensional and all other representation will be one dimensional. Now, for A1 that is the identity representation all will be one because this is uh, uh, this is the result that we have obtained earlier for identity representation all the characters will be one and for this uh, two dimensional representation uh, we have to write two here and uh, another one that is for uh, if we con if we check th this is i that is identity uh, element so the uh, values of the characters under this particular identity element will be identity matrix now first four matrix is the one by one matrix so we can write easily all one and for e it is a two dimensional matrix so identity element the trace of the identity element or the character of the identity element will be two so this result we can write uh, easily uh, by using uh, the fact that there must be some identity representation and this values under the uh, column i they are one why because they are the identity element for a one uh, one by one matrix or trace for a one by one matrix that is why we can write one and this is the trace or character for a two by two matrix that is why we have written two so uh, all this we can write again uh, by using the result that is dq is equal to one so for the uh, I, uh, for the uh, one dimensional representation, uh, we can easily write the values of uh, character 1 for the one dimensional representation. So, the bold values we can uh, uh, fill up so far the results obtained. Now, rest of the uh, table, uh, the, the rest of the characters uh, for the uh, table, we can calculate uh, by the following discussion. So, let us use the orthogonality relation. So, three missing characters are there uh, in each one of the uh, one dimensional irreducible representation. Suppose we are going to find uh, three missing uh, values this, this value, this value, this value, again this value, this value, this value, and this value, this value, and this value. So, we can uh, say we can assume that is uh, this one is P, and this one is Q, and this one is R. Now, we can use the orthogonality relation. So, orthogonality relation. Uh, how to use that so you see the uh, relation so here first factor that is one for each of the sum uh, the first factor is the uh, number of elements in the classes for example and the first three cases that is one one uh, uh, first two cases it is one and one and then next three uh, classes the number of elements are two that is why two two and two and these values are the product of the characters. For example, uh, this character is 1 and this character is 1. So, 1 into 1. Again, this is for this also 1 into 1. And this the, for this 1 into P. P is any value uh, for these uh, 3 rows. P can be any uh, any one of the 3 rows. Similarly, Q is any value of these 3 rows. R is the any value of the 3 rows. So, uh, this is the product. So, product is 0. Now, the only possibility uh, for the product 0 that is 2 of the p, q and r equal uh, to minus 1 and other is plus 1. So, if we use the orthogonality relation, so uh, any two values of the p, q, r will be minus 1 and one of the value will be plus 1. So, there will be possible three combination. These three combination we have written here. So, these are the all one dimensional. Uh, representation one dimensional irreducible representation and last line can be obtained if we use orthogonality relation with any uh, one of the irreducible representation suppose you can use the orthogonality relation with e and b2 or e and b1 if you use same types of orthogonality relation then you can find the values for this uh, four element that is it is minus 2 0 0 and 0 so last line we have obtained by using orthogonality relation with any one of the uh, one dimensional irreducible representation. So, in this way we have 
found all the characters of this particular character table and by using these results uh, for other groups uh, we can also find the characters uh, table uh, of that particular group so the main thing is that you have to uh, use some uh, particular results uh, of the uh, discussion so these are the um, uh, main results uh, which you have to use uh, to find out the characters for a character table and you can use these results for other group also and you have to just proceed in the similar way i think you have understood the lecture and uh, for further understanding i uh, request you to go through the textbook of relay hobson and benz and i thank you all for listening my lecture